welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so yeah today uh, my plans was to do a second part to the GBFKE diamond painting haul that I'd got a while ago uh, however I was about to do that upstairs and I thought actually I haven't done a stitching chat for such well not a stitching chat I haven't done a stitching update like a flash tube for a while so I thought I would do that instead so I've just grabbed me herbal tea yeah it is herbal tea trust me <laughs> yeah it's herbal tea it's peppermint tea because I've taken to that I'm just going to see if I can get a bit of extra lighting on here so yeah Wow, that really did make a difference, didn't it? Yeah, so yeah, please excuse the reindeer in the background. We had him out on um, Christmas, uh, but we kind of decided not to put him back in the loft, uh, poor thing. He wanted to stay downstairs with us, so that's where we decided to keep him. Yeah, <laughs> as my husband said, that's how we've still got Randy downstairs. So we'll make a start. No, oh, where do I start with my stitching really? Um, a while ago, because you know that I've been into my stamped cross stitch kits lately, um, especially since watching other people's videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I've had a problem working on my normal cross stitch kits. Um, I don't know, I just feel like my brain's not quite there. Um, being able to work solely on those um, my concentration's really not there at the minute um, it's not really in a good place to be able to work on my normal kits I am still going to work on those projects when I do feel more like I'm able to but the way I am at the minute I feel currently that I'm more able to work on my stamp kits um, I will go back to the other kits like my Hades and my Death by Cross Stitch when I feel like my head can take it a bit more and be able to concentrate. Not to mention obviously having two little ones um, and a home, obviously home life as well. I feel like I'm working better on stamp kits at the minute. So I'm going to show you what I'm currently working on. I've got my stitching bag next to me. I have changed because my stitching bag had all of my normal kits in that I was working on projects however because I had a bit of a change of heart with that I have changed everything out of my stitching bag uh, my project bag and I've put a load of kits in that I am willing to work on that I feel like I can work on at the minute so you will see mostly just stamped kits uh, in the video uh, oh, sorry about the lighting if it does go a bit light and then dark so I guess we'll start with the one that I've got right by the side of me so let me just get that packet out of here I've got it in here so this one now this was in my stash um, I've not had it that long to be fair uh, I got this from uh, Tapestry Market that's where I get most of my stamp kits from however I have had a f I have got a few I've got a couple of review kits from One Day Saving and my husband treated me to a kit from them um, for Valentine's Day and I'll show you that one in a minute but however this is one from Tapestry Market this is based on Harry Potter and it's based on the first one if I hold it close you can see there with the book and that's supposed to be Hagrid and you've got Hogwarts in the background and it's got like the silhouette outline of young Harry Potter so um, it's like a lot of people say with these stamp kits uh, when they're especially on 11 count Ada they can be very very pixelated so the more you hold it back the better the picture just seems so I haven't got that far on it at the moment but I have made a start this is where I'm up to I told you I haven't done much on it because oh my god there is a lot of background all this yellow here 
all of that is literally 310 all of it and there's even some more down there so there's a lot of block colour background so so I'm not actually getting bored of just working on the background uh, just working on 310 I'm kind of swapping and changing I'm working a bit on the background and then I'm working on actual the Harry Potter here I'm doing a bit there then I'm doing a bit more on the background so I'm kind of changing so I'm not just doing the background I'm finding that's working a lot on that piece so I've not actually got that far with that. I've got my one of my favorite needle minders of Pingu baby there uh, that needle minder is by um, no more last needles by Lisa Simmons uh, she's on floss tube as well Lisa s stitches so that's how far I've got on that one so 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 oh yeah that's the one that my husband got me so we'll show you that one in a minute let me get this one out because <laughs> yeah I'm learning how to park threads at the minute as well and yeah it I'm doing all right I'm doing all right however I do need a bit more practice on how to be more tidy when I'm doing the park threads so another one I'm working on now this one wasn't oh where is this one from now it won't from was it GBFK? No, I don't think so. Oh, I, I can't remember where I got this one from. And it's funny really because somebody asked me about this the other day. Um, and I couldn't for the life of me but remember where I had it from. But then I found my um, purchase email and I was able to tell them that way. So, yeah. <laughs> So this is the one I'm working on, Mickey Mouse with Minnie in his car. I don't really name the kits, however I probably should do. So I absolutely love that. I saw somebody working on that uh, on Instagram and that's how I found out about that. So at the moment, this is how far I've got on there and you can see all my park threads there. <laughs> And the threads are getting knotted. Yeah, so that's how far I've got on that one. I am working in columns. Well, I was working in columns. I did two columns there. Um, however, I've decided that I'm going to come down a little bit, work in the next column, and instead of keep changing it out the Q snap and changing it round, I've decided because I'm working on the next two columns. I'm going to work from this part, use my part threads and then go upwards so I don't have to keep changing it. But it's looking really good. I'm really, really pleased with that. I'm happy with how it's turning out. Not to mention working in columns with this. I feel like you're getting to slowly reveal the picture, what you're actually working on. And yeah, I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying this. So uh, I'm having a lot of fun on it. Now it has got some block colour, but it's not, but it is a bit more spaced out than um, some kits. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun working on this one. Really, really love that. Um, like I said, I've never parked threads before, but I'm finding that on stamped kits, it's a great, great. Yeah, wait. It's a great way to learn if you've not learned how to park your threads before. Try it on a stamped kit. Um, I know stamped kits are not for everybody, um, but they are pretty good to learn how to park your threads on. So yeah, absolutely love that one. Really do love it, and I may work on that one later if I can five minutes because <laughs> the children are off school at the minute um because of uh valentine's midterm so um yeah we've been watching uh, disney movies so not got a whole lot of stitching before i show you the next one i'm working on i quickly want to show you these um these where i've got now these kits that come on just cardboard um 
thing like this but just cardboard uh, they're all right for a bit but I've noticed after a little while when you've been using them they can become really really flimsy um, so I had a look on Amazon not so long ago for like plastic ones that I could thread them on um, and I've got the idea I'm going to give her credit for this now I've got the idea from watching Boogie Stitcher on YouTube I noticed she had some of the plastic ones um, so for actually that would be a great idea so I found a pack of 10 on Amazon I think about roughly about £10 <laughs> and here's Randy with the Valentine's card yeah that's your dad's yeah your dad fam thank you oh dear I think he's upset because I didn't get him a Valentine's card anyway <laughs> yeah I got these from Amazon um, really really handy pack of 10 and they're a lot much better obviously the plastic ones so they're really really good I really do recommend using these I haven't changed all of the threads on my kits over to them but the ones that I've been working on I have I'm just going to have a little sip of my tea and then we'll go on to the next one. Do you know, I'm really compartial to peppermint tea, you know. So the next one I'm working on, now you'd have seen this a few times now because this is one of my review kits. I did an unboxing and I did a stitch and chat with this one now this one's from um, One Day Saving when they sent me this review of Cute Couple uh, yeah I absolutely I adore this they asked me to pick one which they'd like to send for a review so I had a look and I saw this one I really took to it um, because it just reminds me of when me and my husband was younger um, and we was dating <laughs> and when he used to see me off at the train station so yeah I am thoroughly loving working on this one I didn't tell you what size the other kits are did I and I didn't even say what size fabrics yeah the other size fabrics I've been working on are they're both they're all 11 counts by the way <laughs> and again this one is an 11 count that I'm working on now we'll have a look how far I've got on this one now I'm working on this one I'm working sometimes I use I'll put it on a frame and I'll work some of it on a frame but then other times I'll take it off the frame and I'll just work on it freehand because I just find it easier now this one <clears throat> what size is this do you know I don't even know what size it is it's a hundred ninety width by two hundred and sixty four height. I'm taking that. It's got to be centimetre. No, that's stitches. No, I think that's stitches. Yeah, a hundred ninety stitches by two hundred and sixty. Ah, and it is forty four by seventy one centimetres. I knew we'd get there <laughs> so yeah I've done a fair amount on this I've done a lot of the background on it as you can see I'm working on his hair the only thing <laughs> that I mentioned about this and I did uh, send them a whatsapp message about it because I was a bit unsure if you look on the picture here you'll see that the figures there I haven't got to her hair yet but you'll see his hair is quite dark isn't it however I know I'm following the code properly I'm definitely following the code his hair's not really especially here it's lighter and there it's more of a tint of red where on the picture it's like a dark brown now I wondered if that was me going crazy whether maybe they'd put the wrong floss on the cards or whether i got it wrong somehow 
but the other kit that my husband got me for Valentine's Day is another one of those but a different scene and the colours seem the same on there so the colours do vary a little bit in these ones but it, it's no biggie because I'm still having a lot of fun stitching it so I've done a lot in the background I'm working now because the background's a lot I'm working partially bits on his hair and then I'm going down to the background <laughs> it's too big to hold in camera so that I'm working on his hair and then I'm working on the background down here and I'm doing that bit there so again I'm swapping and changing so I'm not doing too much of the same thing uh, so I'm not um, it doesn't feel quite tedious I am absolutely loving it though even though I did have that little query about the uh, colour suspicion of the hair but it's not too bad to be fair um, like I said I'm, I'm having a lot of fun working on it it doesn't matter if the hair's slightly different because um, to be fair my husband he was a redhead anyway so to be honest it's more imagine his kind of hair so so yeah um i'm gonna quickly show you now i'm not gonna show i have got one kit in my bag that's not a stamped cross stitch however i don't i haven't worked on any of it since i did my last floss tube so i'm not i'm gonna pass that one because i feel like i'd just be showing you the same thing so I'm just going to grab this off the floor. Now this is what my husband got me for Valentine's Day. So I've just shown you that one, the cute couple that I'm working on. Because I found some more, my husband brought me that one for Valentine's Day. So that one I'm doing for a review from One Day Saving. And that one my husband purchased from One Day Saving for me. I absolutely love it. Obviously, I haven't started it yet because I do want to get the cute couple finished before I start this one. Um, I know there's less, there is block colour in this one, but there is less than the one that I'm currently working on. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to start on this. Not to mention, um, as well, my other Valentine's present from my husband was. Uh, a little bit of spending money for the April retreating crew so yes <laughs> really really pleased with that I had a stitchy goodness for Valentine's Day you definitely know it's my blessing so yeah I'll be picking myself something um, from the sales table I'm presuming that they have one in, in crew in April I can't wait for that retreat I really can't really really looking forward to it especially as i'm going to be taking my stamp cross stitch kits however i'm not going to make the mistake that i made on my last retreat when i go i'm going to be putting my fabrics in bags in my storage bag because the last time i think i mentioned on my last video i put my kits in the bag luckily i didn't have too many stamp kits in there because you know if water gets on the stamp kits it can damage the printing on them it was really tipping it down around when I was on the way taking the kids to school and I was walking with my luggage bag by the time I got to Chinchley Hall in Melton Keynes my fabrics were soaked <laughs> my um, some of my charts got slightly damaged uh, a lovely lady at the retreat managed to save my fabric it was actually a hide that i'm stitching but because it's a full piece it didn't really matter too much however a little dot got on my stamp kit but it wasn't enough to actually damage it i can easily work around that so save the same thing happening i don't think it will being in april because we should get the more nicer weather then but to save the same happening again because I'll be taking mostly stamp kits I will be putting them in Ziploc waterproof bags and doing it that way to obviously just prepare just in case 
so those are the main pieces that I'm actually working on now when I do go to the retreat in April I do want to do a new start <laughs> I know I shouldn't I really know I shouldn't because I've got enough uh, here to probably last me another 250 years <laughs> I know I won't live that long but but yeah it, it's a tradition to take new starts with you when you go on a retreat so I thought I'm going to take a new start so I'll put a couple in my bag which I haven't decided what I'm going to do new start on yet so we're going to have a little look little look oh no I forgot to show you this one that I'm working on so yeah I'll just quickly show you my new start that I plan to do at the retreat first and then we'll like have a quick look at the other one that I didn't show you so yeah this is the new start where I'm hoping I'm planning on working on at the April retreat on well I'm hoping to start it on the Saturday now this is a 14 count so this will only be two strands it's the little mermaid um i can't remember exactly where i got this and it was a review kit however i will have a look at my previous videos and that should tell me where it's from my thumb blank the only thing that i'm a little bit worried about with this one is because the numbers are quite they're quite blurry on here so i don't know if i'm going to be able to work off the numbers um yeah there is a couple here i just cannot see at all i can see a couple of them but some of them like that one i can just make that out however it is still blurry but these like here there i cannot make that out um so I'm, i may have a little bit of difficulty on this one i hope i don't because it would be a shame not to be able to actually stitch on this um however i could follow the chart but i'd rather just follow the the printing that's on the fabric because that money while we get stamp kits to sell we don't have to keep following the chart so we can just stitch to our heart's content we don't have to keep marking the chart off so i'm gonna have to have a look at the chart hopefully the chart is the same as what's on the fabric because if that's the case then it might not be too bad however if the chart symbols and the numbers are different to what's on the fabric it might be a bit difficult then so yeah that is my planned new start i'm going to try but i'm a bit unsure because like i said the numbers on here are quite blurry unfortunately so um but saying that when we're at the retreats nine times out of ten we do have quite good lighting so i don't know yet so yeah the other one that i didn't show you i forgot was this one no oh i've got i've got this yeah i've got the sticker here now that's the one that I had before. Now this is one that I purchased myself from Tapestry Market. Uh, it is a 46 by 36. And you've got all oh, like Disney characters there. And you've got stars in the background and that. I thought it was such a cute one. However, unfortunately the stars in the background I cannot see. I really cannot see because the printing on this fabric again is very very light i managed to work a bit on it on the background and also on tigger's arm but you can see how light that really is and obviously with that light background you can't see where the stars are in between that so i'm not including the stars so unfortunately the stars are not going to be included on that the reason why i put it in the bag is I'm determined to work on it it'd be a shame not to and to let it go to waste I don't want to let it go to waste but like I said uh, the numbers are very light whether the printing 
ink was starting to go I don't know um however yeah I'm still going to have a bash at uh, working on it I'm not just going to leave it because as I said it would be a shame to do that so um whether I'll work on that one at the retreat I don't really know to be fair um it depends if I'm, <laughs> it depends if I'm brave enough or I might just pick something really easy to do so anyway guys that is my <laughs> my stuff that I'm going to be working on my new stars my kit for Valentine's Day from my husband as I said I'm really loving working on these stamped kits I'm thoroughly thoroughly enjoying them um, I feel like I'm getting a lot of fun working on these at the moment um, for concentration levels especially I feel like I'm doing better with these than I am on normal cross stitch at the moment so it's, it's like the saying goes work on what you're finding easy to work on because if you do working on things that you're not having much fun with then unfortunately yeah it just takes the pleasure out of it so you might as well work on stuff that you're enjoying so anyway guys that is where i'm gonna leave it for for now i uh, hope you've enjoyed the floss tube <laughs> so i just want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel and for popping and watching the videos um you're all very much appreciated i do appreciate every single one of you um i'm still enjoy really really loving making the videos um as yeah it's a bit of a mix at the minute i'm doing diamond painting floss tube coloring videos it's quite a bit of a mix it's because i do a lot of uh, crafting so yeah so i shall see you again soon <laughs> so thank you for watching uh if you enjoyed the video uh please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that uh if you're not already subscribed to the channel then feel free to press that subscribe button we would love to have you here and until next time i'll see you again soon so goodbye for now guys bye